Hello and welcome again to another edition of Astronomy Spotlight. Uh, my name is Kirk Rosberg. I'm the Planetarium Coordinator here at the Hastings Museum. And this month for November's Astronomy Spotlight, we are going to look at another wonder of nature, a total lunar eclipse. Now this eclipse occurs early in November. Um, actually, it is November the 8th, a Tuesday morning. And yes, it happens to be election day as well. Hopefully that's a good omen rather than a bad omen as uh, lunar eclipses tended to be seen as for a long time. Uh, but Tuesday morning, uh, November the 8th, the penumbral phase of the eclipse, which is the part of the eclipse that we can't see any shadow uh, on the moon at that time, begins at 2.02 a.m. So let me draw your attention here to the planetarium sky. The moon is high in the west, just slightly south uh, of west at that time. And let's see, we'll advance the sky a little bit. Let's zoom in on the moon here so we can see it a lot better as the shadow progresses. Okay, so there we go. Partial phase, which it looks like it is just about to begin, um, actually begins at 3.09 a.m. So if you're going to set your alarm, uh, set it for uh, set it for about three o'clock or very shortly thereafter if you want to catch the first the first bit of shadow on the moon. Uh, again, 3.09 a.m. Now let's uh, go a little bit forward here, a little bit faster. And there we go, the official beginning right there. And as we progress towards totality, um, a question I frequently get is what causes that copper red color, the blood red color of the moon during a, a lunar eclipse. And it is caused by sunlight uh, being filtered through the, the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, blue light gets scattered outward towards the sky, uh, which is of course what causes the sky to, uh, to turn to be blue uh, during the daytime. Uh, but during a total lunar eclipse, the longer red wavelengths of light uh, are filtered toward the dark uh, shadow of the Earth, to the umbra of the Earth, and that gets reflected back to the moon. So that is what causes uh, the usual red color of the moon. But the moon is not, uh, certainly is not always red during an eclipse, but most of the time uh, it is. All right, I'm gonna stop right there. There we go. Uh, so we are in the uh, uh, totality phase right now. Total eclipse begins at 4.16, 4.16 a.m. Uh, it begins at 4.16 a.m., but the deepest part of the eclipse, when the Earth's dark shadow is centered uh, on the moon, that occurs at uh, about 5.41 a.m. So this is a fairly long eclipse. Um, total eclipse, I should say maximum eclipse, is at 4.59 a.m. So totality begins at 4.16, uh, maximum eclipse, 4.59 a.m., uh, and then total eclipse ends at 5.41 a.m. So let's go forward to that. Okay, we will see the moon start to leave the Earth's shadow. So yes, total eclipse ends at 5.41 uh, a.m. The partial eclipse phase ends at 6.49 a.m. The moon is going to be pretty much right on the horizon uh, at that time, very close to setting, um, if not halfway to setting already. It might be difficult to see the very final phases of, uh, of this lunar eclipse because morning it will be progressing quite, uh, quite quickly at that time. So, of course, a lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth actually passes in between uh, the Moon and the Sun. And, of course, it is the Earth that kind of blocks out sunlight from, from the Moon. If you were standing on the surface of the Moon watching this eclipse, uh, it would appear as a total solar eclipse, but, yeah, but we're not. All right, so let's skip forward here a bit. 
Time is progressing and all right, maximum eclipse has passed. And now we begin to see the moon leaving the Earth's shadow, taking its sweet time. Of course, the big uh, question is, what is the weather going to be like? Will there be clouds? Will it be clear? Very hard to tell um, at this point. But it's worth it because it will be the last uh, lunar eclipse we see for, uh, for a while, for a year or so. All right. Eclipse is coming to an end. And as it does, let me zoom back out. Slowly as I can, which is not that slow. Okay. All right, yep, there we go. So that is it uh, for this edition of Astronomy Spotlight. Uh, do join me again next month for another edition of Astronomy Spotlight. And thank you so much for watching.